Any other ultimate sexual fantasies? My girlfriend. My girlfriend. <laughs> well, maybe we could double team her. <laughs> my girlfriend is your ultimate sexual fantasy. <laughs> yes, people see my girlfriend and they see me and they say, she's only going out with you because you're famous. And I say, but I am famous. <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> is, is that your girlfriend? That is my girlfriend. That's your girlfriend? <laughs> I'm not going to swap if that's OK. <laughs> Can I just clarify, you are a beautiful lady, no disrespect to you, <laughs> but he heckled, I had to put him down, <laughs> and the only way to get to him was through you. <laughs> I like the way as well, I suggested your girlfriend wasn't good looking enough and you applauded. <laughs> Yeah, you'll be using those hands later on, won't you? <laughs> what is the worst gift you've ever got? Birthday, anniversary, Christmas, Valentine's. What is the worst piece of shit you ever got? <laughs> <clears throat> We've had a heckle. Go on, what, what was that? Say a little bit louder. No, what's fine. Uh, sir, what, what's your name? Toby. What, what, sorry? Toby. Toby. Toby, do you mind me sharing with the group? Thank you very much indeed, Toby. That makes it much easier. Because there's a heckle. It's quite a good heckle, quite a funny heckle. But we have to do a heckle put down now. God. <laughs> I would love if I could just let it go, but I can't. <laughs> there are rules. <laughs> but you don't mind me sharing with the group, so it makes it much easier. We can go old school. <laughs> what, sorry? Stop stalling. <laughs> Don't panic, sir. <laughs> I've got this. I'll have to put you on asshole waiting. <laughs> Toby's mum <laughs> is so fat. <laughs> She's a fucking disgrace, Toby. Your mum is such a chunky monkey wobble slob. Fatty boom batty blubber naught. <laughs> She's so fucking fat, when she fell down the stairs, I thought EastEnders had finished. <laughs> boom, 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 ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> True story. Ahem. <laughs> 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 you, sir. <laughs> what did you say? What was it? Stop stalling? Yeah? What, what's your name? Are you trying to say Gary? <laughs> Watch me. Gary. <laughs> yeah. 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 The fuck is that? <laughs> well, Gary, if you want my comeback, you'll have to scrape it off your mum's teeth. <laughs> yeah, a sneaky little drink. Hang on, one sec. Oh. Do feel free to heckle if you want. There's a lot of jokes, but you can... You've lost too much weight, Jimmy. What, sorry? You've lost too much weight. I've lost too much weight. I've put weight on. I was eight pounds. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with me. <laughs> also, if we're going to sort of be, I don't know, maybe concerned about others' personal appearances... <laughs> Maybe the man that looks like a microphone <laughs> shouldn't be talking. <laughs> what do you do for a living? So you look as if you should be a drummer in a band. I am in a band. You are in a band. Of course you're in a band. <laughs> of course. Be, there's no other excuse for that. <laughs> Not that a lot of people don't like my hair. A lot of people think I wear a wig. <coughs> or it's a comb-over or something. <laughs> I haven't got a comb-over. Well, not there. <laughs> I do have one massive pube that I just loop around. <laughs> It's quite something, you would enjoy it. <laughs> what, what band do you win? Uh, it's called Origami Dinosaur. <laughs> You're an Origami Dinosaur? <laughs> oh, my God! They're like my favourite band! <laughs> oh, hang on, I'm thinking of Coldplay. Uh... <laughs> 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 
We'll check in again with Origami Dinosaur later. <laughs> Good, well, that's, that's pretty much the first half of my show, ladies and gentlemen. But it's mainly me talking in the first half. Any questions so far? Anything else you'd like to know? Yes, oh, I'm going to presume all the questions are for me. <laughs> if, that's... if I'm not being too starry and arrogant. <laughs> Although there's something about my name in this town. <laughs> Jimmy! Just sounds right. <laughs> Go on, what was the question? Yes, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's one of Wittgenstein's theorems. <laughs> um, you'd suck off his mum. <laughs> He's done you. He has done you. I, I, I'm not from Perth, so I may never have to make that decision. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. You sound like you come from a very broken home. I'm not suggesting you fucked your mum, but only because you wouldn't want to two-time your sister. <laughs> um, you're looking slightly disapproving there, madam. You all right? I like the fact that you two look incredibly rock and roll in a sea of middle class. <laughs> what a wonderful thing. What, what do you do? Are you in a band or something? Me? Yeah. Called Cyber what? Cyber dog. Cyber dog? Yeah. Where'd you think I got this? <laughs> hey? It's rubber on the inside. <laughs> I might have a funky underpinning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a funky underpinning is. That's how unfunky I am. <laughs> Were you expecting more thrash metal at this gig? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry to disappoint. <laughs> and your, your partner there, so he, he's, you've got a similar look about you. What do you do, sir? I manage a fetish clothing shop. <laughs> you manage a fetish clothing shop? <laughs> Whereabouts? Uh, Covent Garden. Covent Garden? Yeah. It's a great spot for it. <laughs> What's the weirdest request you've ever had in the store? Um, someone wanted a douchebag fitted to a catsuit. <laughs> someone wanted a douchebag fitted to a catsuit? Yeah. They're all words I vaguely understand. <laughs> and yet, when you say them, <laughs> what? <laughs> Hang on, what's a douchebag? Uh, it's a special uh, facility that goes back to the back of the capsule to defecate to the map wheel. Oh, a douchebag! <laughs> oh, I thought you said something else. Oh, right. The device I have on my cat suit so I can defecate at will. <laughs> Surely, if you've got a cat suit on, you should really be going in the sandpit. <laughs> that's. that's. he's. Are you off to buy a... <laughs> did, you, did we just say defecate at will and you were off? <laughs> Have you been hypnotised at some point? <laughs> yeah, go on, once. Is it right that your girlfriend wants you to watch her pee? <laughs> she likes you watching her pee. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> That is the, the, the question I get asked that every show. <laughs> it's weird that you would ask that. So, because she likes a lot of people to watch her pee. Um, is that your thing? You like people to watch you pee? <laughs> well, clearly, yes. <laughs> he didn't say that for no reason, did he? Do you remember earlier when you said he was a pedo for making you dress up as a schoolgirl? <laughs> I think it might be payback time. <laughs> but surely you could just dress her as a schoolgirl and have her do a wee on you. That's fine. <laughs> That plays into your whole pedo fantasy. <laughs> Everyone's happy. Apart from anyone with any sort of sense of taste and decency. <laughs> who are frankly horrified by you too. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Sam. Sam. Hi, Sam. Southwell. What, sorry? Southwell. Southwell. <laughs> yeah, definitely, I need a surname for this. <laughs> I'm not in charge of the register, don't worry about that. <laughs> So, and what is it about being watched pee that you enjoy? Well, just tell us. We're all interested to know. Well, you do, so... It's not like that. What is it like? Give <laughs> her a glass of water, we'll all find out. <laughs> <laughs> I just think, if you live with someone, you should feel comfortable enough to 
Once you've, you know, once you've been with someone, there's a level of intimacy that suggests that you would be uh, able to pee in front of them or, or maybe shit on their chest. <laughs> but some people aren't like us, baby. <laughs> some people don't think in the way... They're closed-minded. They've got a sense of, I don't know, appropriate occasion. <laughs> It's all right, we're not taping this for... Oh, no, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely golden showers. <laughs> Any other thoughts? <laughs> what car do I drive? I don't actually drive a car, sir. I roll in one. <laughs> Motherfucker, yeah, with the bitches in the back, yeah! Any other questions, thoughts? What's your favourite type of cheese? What's my favourite type of cheese? <laughs> Knob. <laughs> Where's the best place you performed? The best place I've performed? I'd have to say in your girlfriend. <laughs> It's not nice to hear that, because often when I go to comedy shows, and I go to them all the time, I love coming out to see live comedy. The thing is, though, if I'm sat right at the back, I'm a little bit disappointed. I always get my ticket and go, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm fucking miles away. <laughs> but there are, of course, advantages to being right at the back. You get more of a sense of theatre, of people coming together and sharing a sense of humour. What a wonderful thing that is, the great British musical spirit. And also, if you're right at the back, this sort of thing won't happen. I fucked your mum. <laughs> That's not going to happen to any of you. I've got nothing but respect for your mums. They're hard-working, decent women. Your mum still owes me a tenner. <laughs> I'm joking. I owe her a tenner. <laughs> worst gifts. What, what's the worst gift? What, sorry? You got a bread maker. I, uh, your husband bought you a bread maker. What a fucking arsehole. No, I just hate the whole concept, because bread makers... And I mean, I bet I spent, like, 200 quid on a bread maker. That's convenient, isn't it? Because you don't live near shops and bread isn't fucking cheap. <laughs> oh, I'll just make my own, that's fine, because the ingredients cost more than a loaf of bread, but don't worry about it. <laughs> so what did you get him? Instead of an engagement ring, you... <laughs> you got a bread maker instead of an engagement ring. <laughs> You broke up with him, right? You've just divorced him. <laughs> Yay! Why did you go through with marrying him? I mean, that must have been fucking awkward in the office. Oh. <sighs> Look at this. Oh, it's a nice one. Sparkly. <laughs> you poor thing. Any other bad gifts? You got what? Poor water? A dog pooper scooper. <laughs> Do you have a dog? At the time, yes. At the time, yes. <laughs> the fuck have you done with your dog, dude? <laughs> what happened to your dog? <laughs> you don't have him anymore. Oh, <gasps> <gasps> Toby's mum ate him. <laughs> the fat bitch. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Um, <laughs> Who's come the furthest? Has anyone come from, like, a long way away, overseas? Canvey or... Island. Canvey Island? <laughs> <laughs> right, now, I know Canvey Island, so I happen to know that you've not come a long way from your home. You've just brought it with you. <laughs> Did you come with him? <laughs> no, good. Canvey Island's the furthest anyone came. Well, fuck you. Yeah. You were all in the area anyway, were you? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Was that Dover? <laughs> but you were castrated before you got a chance to... <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. 
Were you worried about sounding silly? So you thought, well, I'll put on a ludicrous high-pitched voice. <laughs> that should sort things out, shouldn't it? So you're a sailor, are you? <laughs> Imagine my surprise at your high-pitched voice. Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Now, there's a scientific theory that states you laugh 30 times more when you're in a room with other people than when you're watching something on a screen. So why not come and see me live? It's jimmycarr.com for tickets and I'm pretty much everywhere. See you then.